Let's get more now on the official uh, unemployment figures for the three months to the end of January, which have been published, showing the number of people out of work is now at a near 17-year high. The figures show the number of unemployed has risen to 2.67 million, up 28,000. Full-time jobs fell by 50,000, but there were 59,000 uh, new part-time posts. Public sector employment fell by 37,000 to just under 6 million, while the numbers employed in the private sector firms increased by 45,000 to 23 million. And women have again been hit hardest, making up nearly 80% of the increase in unemployment. Well, we're joined now by uh, Lee McQueen, a former winner of the TV show The Apprentice, of course, and the director of the Raw Talent Academy Recruitment Company. And welcome to you. Thanks very much indeed Thank you. for being with us. Um, what do you make of these figures and what's to be done? I think that with, with the figures, especially in the youth side of things, with a slight increase, I think it's 1.04 million youth between 16 and 24 that are unemployed at the moment. I, I think there is jobs out there. I think, I think people need to be unique or, or, or look at a different way of showcasing their skills um, to potential employers. Um, it's difficult, you know, on one hand you say the government aren't doing enough, but they have got some uh, strong um, uh, schemes around, around enterprise and getting uh, people into not only employment but certainly into building their own businesses as well, which in turn creates jobs. But on the other hand, um, you know, there's a lot of people who are saying, and especially your graphic uh, you just talked about there, about women being the most hardest hit. So it's trying to gain that balance, really. Well, when you say people aren't showcasing themselves properly, what should people do differently? Well, I think, you know, as an employer, I've been an employer of, uh, of people for the last eight years, and as, as an employer, I'm looking for people that, that bring to something slightly different to the party. Um, you know, you've got 80 graduates, for example, to every one job that's out there at the moment. So what are the other 79 people doing that, uh, that you're, you're doing the same thing? So maybe you need to do some voluntary work. Maybe you need to showcase your skills, showcase that you can... Uh, you are part of that particular organisation or you can fit into that organisation better than the uh, 79 other people that you're going against a job with. A lot of people uh, find themselves having to do work unpaid hmm. initially, you know, internships or whatever it happens yeah. to be. Is that fair? Because, you know, I suspect if you've got wealthy parents who can subsidise you, doing that, then it's fine. Yeah. But if you haven't, you can't just take a three-month unpaid job because you've got to pay the bills. Difficult. And I think, you know, that's where apprenticeships come in. You, m you mentioned, obviously, I won the apprentice. You know, apprenticeships are a, v a fantastic way of utilising um, uh, skills or gaining skills while still in education as well. Um, for me, you, I, I mean, think your apprenticeship was paying 100000 a year, though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, it was, it was <laughs> slightly different. It was slightly different, but you did, you did reference it. For me, I mean, I set my business up 18 months ago. Uh, as you said, the Royal Talent Academy, we showcase people's skills. So we put people in front of employers that are effectively um, showcasing what they can actually do as opposed to looking on a piece of paper. I mean, famously, your viewers might remember that I lied on my CV in The Apprentice. I, I was going to bring that up. I, well, I, I was debating I, whether to I bring it up. I thought I'd bring it up before you okay. did. Um, and, for, and for me, it's, it's you know, using me as an example and saying, look, you know, at the end of the day, it's not just what's written on a piece of paper. People can uh, manufacture that. What it's about, it's about you as a person. Actually, just on that, do you regret that? Or do you think, actually, you know what? I like a chance, or I like someone who's going to stretch the truth and push it to the limits. No, I, de I definitely regret it. I wouldn't condone lying on your CV, but uh, effectively it's also showcased the fact that I haven't done too badly just because I haven't got a great education. I had a complex about the education. doesn't necessarily mean that you can't effectively achieve and go on to a b bigger and better things, and that's effectively what, what we've done. Um, we've just implemented a, a sales academy into one of our clients, McGinley H Human Resources, and what they've effectively done is they've taken somebody on that was homeless when they were 15. Um, they had GCSEs and they've got that determination, that desire to actually work, and they've just taken them on to a corporate sales job. So I think there's opportunities out there for people that are seeing these figures, and it is all doom and gloom. Lee, thank you very much indeed for coming into the studio. Be with us this afternoon. No Thanks problem so at all. Thanks thank you. Thanks. Time for the weather now. Nina Ridgehead.